Jesus, be raised the dead to life in the Spirit. The Lord have mercy. The Lord have mercy. The Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ have mercy. Amen. The Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. The Lord have mercy. The Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I, the Lord, your God, teach you what is for your good and lead you on the way you should go. If you would hearken to my commandments, your prosperity will be like a river and your vindication like the waves of the sea. Your descendants will be like the sand and those born of your stock like its grains. Their name never cut off or blotted out from my presence. The word of the Lord. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Blessed are the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the ways of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delight in the law of the Lord, and meditates on his law day and night. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Not so the wicked. Not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just. But the way of the wicked vanishes. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord will come, go out to meet him. He is the Prince of Peace. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the crowds, 
To what shall I compare this generation? It is like children who sit in marketplaces and call to one another. We played the flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge, but you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they said, He's possessed by a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, they said, Look, he is a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is vindicated by her works. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise <coughs> Lord. Don't worry what others think. Don't worry about what others say. Well, everyone else is doing it, so I have to do it. Be willing to be different. Many years ago, I had a very colorful shirt during my high school days, and it had all the piranhas, and sharks, all showing their teeth, and they're all going in one direction, but there was a little ichthus fish, and it was going the opposite direction. They're all going one direction, if you want to be part of the crowd, or as a follower of Christ, are you willing to be courageous to go against the flow? That's what it boils down to. And be okay with that. And not worry about what people are going to say. Or what people are going to think. But be yourself. Amen. Be willing to follow Christ. But we played a flute for you. Meaning we, we sang a song like a wedding song. And, and we want you to dance. Well, I don't feel like dancing. Well, we want you to. Well, that's okay. I'm not going to. Hold your ground. Well, we played a dirge, a sad song. We want you to mourn. We want you to cry. Well, I'm not going to cry. I'll cry when I cry. I'll laugh when I laugh. But don't have the world tell you what to do. You don't need the world to tell you. Stand up. Jesus had a mission, and he wasn't worried about the polls. That's what politicians worry about. Polls thinking, oh, I better change my opinion. I better change what I'm doing. No, why don't you have a back and stand up? Stand up for truth and not worry about what the people think because John the Baptist didn't worry about what the people said. Jesus didn't worry about what the people said. They did what was right. Let's try to do the same. Please stand Let us now lift up our prayers to our Heavenly Father who knows all of our needs. Let us pray for all the leaders in the church to stand up like Christ, like John the Baptist, to proclaim boldly the gospel of Jesus Christ to all people in all nations. We pray to the Lord. <clears throat> we pray for all politicians that they, filled with the Spirit, stand for truth, for justice, not to worry about polls, we pray to the Lord. We pray for ourselves as followers of Christ to be willing to be courageous to go against the flow and always stand for what is right, what is true. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the sick and the suffering, all those who have asked for our prayers in any special way. We pray to the Lord. For our beloved dead, especially for Delia Molina, for her soul on today on her birthday, we pray to the Lord. Lord. And for the prayers that you hold in the silence of your heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord. Almighty God and Father, we pray that you Continue to pour forth your spirit upon us, helping us to be the disciples that you call us to be. We ask this prayer through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are, <coughs> blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May your merciful grace prepare your servants, O God, for the worthy celebration of these mysteries and lead them to it by a devout way of life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. And Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. And it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and open for us the way to eternal salvation. <clears throat> that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the host and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the heavens. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our Lord. Hosanna in the heavens. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he is betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Myron, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I believe you should enter into my room. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Amen. Number 669.